Uh, Shalom, Mikey. Shalom, this is your brother Karan from GMS Miami. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rakah Kodash. Which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew. I want to give double honors to the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, which are the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. I want to give a hearty Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth which preached the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risked their lives doing so in efforts to waking up the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of one third of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans here in America, and the Israelite foreigners that are scattered abroad, Shalom. All right, um, this is another episode of Spiritual Spirit, and as usual, nothing written down, just going through the spirit, okay? And I had a, a beautiful conversation with uh, the elder uh, Yasha Wamba uh, this weekend, you know, when he came out to camp with us. And, uh, you know, basically what we what, what we were speaking on is that um hey man, we 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 <laughs> the most high is most merciful and um the time that it's taken, you know, for, for the heavenly father to return and send his son back and um destroy the wicked and deliver the righteous is the time that we need. We need this is very, very essential, man. You know, like the scripture say this first scripture that pops to mind is um is um um in your possessions possess ye your souls man you know because um the fact of the matter is all of us have something that we need to trim you know before we before we get on those chairs man it's some something uh about our walk that we have to we have to correct you know and he said something very keen you know basically said uh you know because he pretty much came in the uh, faith in 2007 and he was basically uh he basically said um yeah if the lord came back in two, 2009 he, he probably wouldn't have made it you know and that was that was heavy that's heavy man okay and i've and i've thought about this topic you know a, a few times before you know and i you know basically in the sense where i would say uh brothers hey just understand what you're hastening you know understand what you're hastening now we're commanded to hasten the day you know but um, you know, understand and, and, and know that um, that there'll be no there'll be no talking when 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 the uh, when the son of man returns, man. You know, you you either right or you're not. You know, so all this this time that uh this this time that uh you know like the scriptures say, do it Terry wait for it. You know, and really that's 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 a um you know that's a, um a hint for a. Hey, wait just wait be patient you know get yourself together because we, we're about to we're about to uh <laughs> we're about to see some shit brothers you know we're about to see something now uh uh um you know that doesn't mean oh okay well no nah, don't let's not hate to no no we're commanded to but the thing is let's thank the heavenly father let's thank the heavenly father uh uh you know for for every aspect of this thing man okay even having us tarry you know i mean i mean you know basically waiting for his return thank the heavenly father man because that's another day for you to get closer into him to draw nigher unto him you know and you know like the scripture said we can never do enough okay and that's you know that's that's scary within itself but we're, we're under the law of liberty okay the most high is most merciful he's gracious you know so that's the balance within it, you know? But the thing is, hey, you know, we can never do enough. So every day, every day moving forward is a chance to do to do more, okay? Uh, like I said, draw draw nigher, you know? Because <laughs> everything has to be a, a, a plus or a positive in this walk of ours, you know? Even when we're, like, you know, and, and it's in the scriptures. These are basic scriptures, you know? It says, uh, uh when you're changed, to roughly paraphrase, and when you're changed to a lower state, you know, uh, uh, take it cheerfully. You know, that's a positive. That is a positive, man, because really, mankind hasn't seen a lower state yet, you know. When 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 the scriptures speak about uh, a time of trouble that has not been since there has been, you know, a time, you know, <laughs> like that, that really puts things into perspective. Like, am I really catching hell? You know, and the, and the answer is, yeah, we are. We are, you know. But the barometer is Jacob's trouble, 
you know let's let's measure it up to basically uh the scriptures tell us you know what it entails what jacob trouble entails but to be to be quite precise man we we we, we don't have an idea man we we have an idea but you know it, it's 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 far off from what uh was really in the works in the workings man you know like the scriptures say we prophesy in part so we are prophesying in part about Jacob's trouble, okay? But guess what? Us prophesying in part is enough to let us know, you know, or to hopefully let, or the men that sincerely want to uh, seek out the Yahweh Shemiah Shah, that's enough to let us know that shit is serious, man. Deadly, deadly, deadly serious, okay? And our thing is to be redundant, you know? That, that's one of our callings. Our calling is to say the same thing over and over and over and over again, week in and week out. You know why? So it gets programmed in our mind, like like uh, uh, the Apostle Goodbye says. Uh, uh, repetition is the father of skill. And you're going to need a certain set of skills. You know, when Jacob Trouble kicks off, you're going to need a certain set of skills. And that skill is, talk, is, is, is uh, spirituality. Okay? That needs to be absolutely king when this shit kicks off okay and if we do what the heavenly father does i mean tells us to do we continue to do that and strive for the masteries of this thing he's gonna do it because there's no possible way that we can we can ratchet our spirit up to be um to be worthy to uh, endure those times man you know that's why it says in what revelations are uh, uh what is that uh revelations uh, I think that's Revelations 3 and 10, you know, where it basically says, um, you know, uh, uh, if, if we basically, we do the, uh, we keep the sayings of, of the scriptures, man, and do what the Heavenly Father told us, t t uh, 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 tells us, or instructs us to do, or commands us to do, that he He will keep us from the hour of temptation, man. Letting you know, this this thing ain't self-willed, man. We're faith, you can't be self-willed and faith-based <laughs> it's impossible you know we're faith-based israelites meaning we have to do our part and our part is to be diligent you know seek the heavenly father day in and day out give him no rest you know beg him pray give supplication fast when need be you know the things that we can tangibly do we better be doing man you know and guess what the time the, 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 uh, uh, uh. Though it's tarrying, that's time for us to get ourselves together, you know. So it's a win win situation for the whole free leg. The more time this thing takes to kick off, the more time we have to draw nigh unto the Heavenly Father, okay? Which just shows you look, it's a win win, you know. But Lord willing, man, you know, if it, if it pops off tomorrow. We've done enough, man. You know, like, according to the Heavenly Father, because it's, you know, according to the measure, we can't do enough. So that means the Most High has to, hey, show show those those those, those tender mercies of David, man, unto us, man, okay? And that's why, hey, this thing is deadly serious. That's why the elders always hearken on, brothers, pray more, pray more, and, and, and try to do more, and be more diligent, you know? Because you can't be guessing. The scriptures say, make thy calling of election give diligence to make that calling of election sure not give diligence to make that call of election uh, uh, uh maybe nah you don't want to be in the maybe may a uh, uh, maybe state you know when when, when the lights and the power fails or the power grid is destroyed okay or, or missiles tomahawk missiles are flying you know or fema camps and guillotines you don't want to be guessing man you want to know, you know? So now is the time, like the scriptures say, and your patience possess ye your souls, okay? Why? Because there's more time, more and more time to, for you to study, you know, for you to get closer to the brotherhood, to get a perfect understanding of what's coming, you know, and to settle yourself, you know? Settle, get settled and grounded in this thing, man, you know? And if, hey, if we do those things, brother, the scriptures say we're going to get out of here, man. We're going to get out of here. But, you know, don't, you know, and that's, this basically, you know, because I, I felt that when, you know, first coming in, you know, first couple years, like, ah, oh, Lord, you know, because when you first get in this thing, man, you're like, okay, 
what compels you to join a camp is that you think the most high is coming the next day or within that month, you know? But as you get grounded and settled in this thing, you see, okay, yeah, you know, he's he's coming when when he's coming. Nobody knows. Not even not even Yahweh Shah knows. Only the uh, only the most high knows when, when when that day is. So hey, let's do our job in between. In between time, in the meantime, in between time, let's do what we need to do. So when 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 this shit does hit the fan, we're rejoicing. And not saying, oh shit, you know, please Lord, you know, nah, we're going to pray now. Yeah, that's going to be, that's, that's the spirit, you know, all the renowned righteous men, they prayed and gave supplication, even Yahweh Shah, you know, before it was, was his time to uh, give up the spirit. Okay. And finish his course, you know, Paul, you know, but there was a sense of uh, boldness within them, man, you know, and then that's the case. If, if you've done enough, you know, in the sight of the heavenly father, you know, if you've done what you're supposed to do, there's gonna be a sense of, of, of rejoicing, you know, because what are we what are we waiting for? We wait for this society collapse to collapse. And we know when that happens, it will never uh rebound. The so-called white man's uh, kingdom will never rebound, never it will never come back into power again. Meaning, it's gonna the process of it being torn down, which has already started, that process of it being torn down is gonna jump uh, 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 leaps and bounds, and it's gonna jump leaps and bounds for our kingdom to be established. You know, so it's going to it's going to give you a, a, a sense of joy or or or, or, uh, or rejoicing, you know, but let's make sure we in this in the, hey, in the cool of the day. Let's make sure in the cool of the day we're doing what we need to do so we can find we can be found worthy and be found fruit meat for repentance when the sun returns. OK, because there ain't nothing to guess about. <laughs> there ain't nothing to guess about, man. We need to make sure, you know, to the best of our ability. So, uh, Lord willing, that was, uh, you know, exhorting, man. Um, so, with that, I want to say, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakal, Kudash, Barakatam, Shalom, Akim.